Lock Stitch. This tool is useful to set lock both side of the object. Select an object and open lock stitch parameter. Now, we will set lock on the first stitch of the object. Here, you can see, lock has been applied at first stitch. Now, if we want to set lock at last stitch. Here, we will set lock on the last stitch of the object. Here, you can see, lock has been applied at last stitch. Now, if we want to set the lock at both sides. Here, we set both sides and turn on star lock. Here, you can see, star lock has been set to both sides. Select an object and open lock stitch parameter. Here, we set both side and rectangle lock type. Here, you can see, both side lock has been applied with rectangle lock type. Now, if we want to create and set our own lock pattern, turn on user defined lock and open edit style palette. Now, we will create a new style. Set the style name as UDL here to use user defined lock. Add a point here and turn on insert mode button and create a style for lock. Select an object and open lock stitch parameter. Set lock both sides. Here, you can see, user defined lock has been applied to both sides. Select an object and open lock stitch parameter and turn on the overrun lock. Now, we play the machine by pressing home shortcut keys and check how the lock plays. Select an object and turn on sequin and open lock stitch parameter now we will turn on the linear lock and turn on lock stitch length auto now we play the machine by pressing home shortcut keys and check how the lock plays select an object and open lock stitch parameter here we will change number of stitches of the lock stitch now, we play the machine by pressing home shortcut keys and check how the lock plays. Here, you can see the number of stitches has been changed. Set the lock stitch parameters as per your need 